Bertari. It's gotta be. And just what do you think you are doing? Lily? Lily? Is that you? What are you doing? Were you following me? This whole thing with the curse. It was you. No, it wasn't. Dylan is in the hospital because of you. It wasn't supposed to happen. I just wanted him to leave. Why? I can't say. I I'm not going to say. What do you mean you can't say? Is someone helping you? Even if I wanted to tell you, there's nothing you could do. Lily, look out! Are you okay in there? I'm fine! <laughs> Stuck. There better be another way out. Nancy! What's the matter? What happened? It's Lily. She's been caught in a cave-in. We need to get her help. This is no accident. Abdullah did this, didn't he? I don't know. I need to go get her help. But I don't want to leave her here with him. Let me help her. If Abdullah comes back, I'm ready for him. Take this signal box, go above, and call for help. I'll take care of Lily. A key? Is there a second exit? Yes. I can't just leave Lily. And you can't help her by staying. Go, call for help. If you see Abdullah, run. Must be a way I can make it to that door. I need to find the correct head. Better not make any mistakes. Nancy, why do you look so frightened? The curse, it was you. Good. For once, I do not have to explain myself to you. Unless, of course, you can't figure out what happens now. You won't get away with this. No, no. I will get away. You will not. You should consider yourself lucky. You will have a beautiful tomb for all eternity. You'll have to catch me first. The stones come up from the floor when the colors match. More platforms. If I can create a path through the other side fast enough, I'll be able to escape. You will not get away! I better not make any mistakes. Leaving so soon? <sighs> That's that. Now come on, Nancy. I'm dying to see Nefertari. Dear Hannah, the police eventually arrived and arrested Abdullah. John suspects when his case goes to trial, we'll be learning a lot more about Abdullah's crimes against archaeology. 
If you ask me, ancient and modern Egypt will be much better without him. Lily was rescued from the tomb unharmed. She was initially taken into custody, but was released once Abdullah claimed full responsibility for everything that went wrong at the dig. I guess he really did believe she deserved a second chance. From what I hear, Lily is currently studying paleontology. I imagine she'll be happier in a career that doesn't involve daily contact with mummies. Dylan has nearly recovered and will soon be resuming his tours of ancient Egypt. Hopefully he's had enough of the black market. Maybe I'll check in on one of his tours to see how he's doing. Jamila was wary when John returned to the site, but the two of them soon hit it off. John has promised to have Nefertari return to her rightful place beside Ramses II, and Jamila has been brought on to assist with the entire process. Jamila dropped her alien act and soon proved herself to be a skilled Egyptologist. I wouldn't be surprised if she and John end up working together for some time to come. Professor Hotchkiss has decided to revise her book to include our discovery of Nefertari's true tomb. I'm looking forward to reading it, just as much as I'm looking forward to her taking me off speed dial. As for me, I'm happy to have had an adventure and delighted to be headed home. There's nothing like the end of a mystery when all of the pieces fit together and everything is... And I just remembered I forgot to let the cobra go. Well, I'd better go take care of that. Guess I'll be getting home a little later than anticipated. Here's hoping that releasing an angry cobra isn't as much of a bad idea as it sounds. Love, Nancy. Oh no! I'd better get help! Hello, Nancy. <gasps> You're awake. Well, that's unfortunate for you. Victor! Why are you doing this? Stay out of the lab. That was the one thing I asked you to do, and you couldn't. You see, Nancy, I knew Nico had something hidden in here. I just couldn't find it, which is why I asked you to stay out. You got away with murder. Why not make a break for it? Why the elaborate plan? Murder investigations don't just go away. Someone had to take the fall, Nancy. You were supposed to give someone a push. That friend of yours sold you short. That's why you're here. You were supposed to drum up enough evidence to get Ryan put away. But no, you had to screw that up. Then I handed you Ellie and Mason, handed them to you on a big silver platter that said, look how guilty these two are. You knocked me out and then planted the key card. That should have sealed the deal, but you couldn't leave it alone. I guess I should be congratulating you for being so sharp. It really is a shame I have to kill you instead. Goodbye, Nancy Drew! The cage won't last long against the coil. I'll need to find a way to get out without getting electrocuted. I bet Ryan's electrical components will help here. This must be the schematic for the circuit. I need to get this working before it's too late. Got it. This should give me a chance to escape. What are you doing? Stop that! Ah! Dear Hannah, Victor was rushed to the hospital and then to a courthouse where he was charged with the murder of Nico Jovic. Due to his attempts to subvert justice, he's been denied bail until his trial. Word is he's willing to strike a plea deal for leniency. But I doubt there will be much to be found. The potential buyers Victor had been courting came forward immediately. 
It was quickly proven they had no idea about Victor's involvement in Nico's death. Regardless, they decided to cut funding for the lab immediately. I can hardly blame them. Mason snuck back into the lab the night after Victor's arrest and made off with a drive containing years of his and Nico's research. Gray spent weeks chasing him down until he finally caught him trying to make a sale at the Technology of Tomorrow conference. After a heated public argument that sent the Technology of Tomorrow bloggers into a frenzy, the two reached an agreement. Gray promised all due credit would remain with Mason and Ellie, provided they assist him in finishing Nico's work. A video of the argument titled Epic Dork Fight was posted online and went viral almost immediately. Within two hours, Gray was fielding calls from philanthropic backers wishing to fund their new endeavor. Mason, on the other hand, was fielding date requests from viewers who clearly have a profound affinity for the lost art of arguing. Allie was surprised at first to hear that Mason wanted her to assist with finishing up Nico's work. She agreed to stay on until the first publication is completed. After that, she plans on doing whatever it takes to get back home. She's not sure what her next endeavor will be, but she's excited to make that decision alongside her family. Finding out what had happened to his best friend changed Gray almost immediately. For the first time since his breakdown, he decided to fully re-enter the world of science. He took the lead on finishing Nico's work and opening the majority of the research up to the public. Some of the work he plans to destroy, as he promised. Although she had been exonerated, it wasn't until Ryan knew exactly what happened to Nico that she could begin to move on from what happened that night. She decided to stay with the team during the next research phase on the condition that she can personally address all safety issues before each experiment. More than anything, Nico wanted his work to make the world a better place. I'd like to think he'd be very proud to see the team working hard to prepare his work for public release. The fact that Nico Jovic's name will be known the world over, while Victor's won't, again proves what I always believed. The world fondly remembers those who always give, and soon forgets those who only take. Can't wait to see you. Love, Nancy. Nancy, help! What's the matter? It's Harper. She's in bad shape. I can't carry her. There's no time to help. Sorry. Dear Ned, the fire was completely out of control, but I was able to fight my way out of the house. Jessalyn and Harper have been hospitalized, but Colton and Wade aren't returning my calls. I hope they're okay. Clara still hasn't been found. I don't know what else to say this time. I wish I could go back and do things differently. I guess I'll be coming home. Love, Nancy. Nancy, help! What's the matter? It's Harper. She's in bad shape. I can't carry her. I bet we could build something to get her out. I could use this to build a makeshift wheelbarrow. Dear Ned, the fire was completely out of control, but I was able to fight my way out of the house. Jessalyn and Harper made it out right behind me. Clara still hasn't been found. The fire department traced the source of the fire back to the faulty furnace in the basement and insisted we all visit the hospital for exposure to toxic fumes, which explains some of the things I saw around the house. Nice to know I wasn't going crazy. Apparently, many of the ghosts in Victorian-era fiction 
may have been inspired by the effects of exposure to carbon monoxide from faulty heaters. I assumed the explanation would be reassuring, but in light of everything that's happened, I can't say it is. Jessalyn's gone missing again, this time less dramatically. She told Colton that she needed space from the family, maybe permanently. She hasn't returned my calls. I guess I can't blame her. Wade's dropped out of contact as well. Savannah wrote to say that she decided to try to reach him, but her letters were returned unopened. I've met so many so-called spirits in my cases, each one a bigger hoax than the last. But the day after the fire, a girl in town told me she swore she saw the figures of two women floating in the smoke above Black Rock Island. I have to admit that hearing that made me shiver a bit. I know, not like me at all. Jesslyn is safe, but I can't help but feel like I've missed something. I wish I could go back and do things differently. I guess I'll be coming home. Love, Nancy. Thanks, I'll get her out. Nancy, my mother's upstairs. She's in the bedroom. It's too dangerous to ask you to help. You decide. I don't care if it's dangerous. I will get her out. Haven't I suffered enough for you? Why would you leave me alone? I need you to calm down and come with me. It's too late for us. She'll never let us Ah! Can't get out that way. I'm sorry for what happened. Focus on getting out of here. It looks like it's up to me to get us out of here. I don't think she's going to be too much help right now. The time's been reset. Okay, I did this once. I can do it again. I sat at your grave every night for a year. And I said, I'm sorry. I didn't want you to die. You had so much, so much, and I had nothing. You want my life. You want me to rot in some prison. Well, I can't keep running from you, Charlotte. Let me stay. I deserve it. You deserve the chance to pay for your mistakes. Now, come on! Clara out of the fire just in time. We rushed out the front door before the stairs collapsed. Imagine my relief when I saw that Jessalyn and Harper had made it out safely as well. Clara finally told Jessalyn the truth, and about how sure she was that she'd be pushed out of the family entirely when she discovered Charlotte had changed her will. How jealous and powerless she felt the night she lit the match, and how badly she wanted to scare Charlotte how quickly the fire got out of control, and how heartbroken she was at Charlotte's death. She would have given anything to take that night back. Jesslyn later said that was the first time she saw the real Clara, who wasn't a cold-blooded killer, just a woman so dedicated to hiding from her past, she lost herself. The fire department traced the source of the blaze back to the faulty furnace in the basement and insisted we all visit the hospital for exposure to toxic fumes. The doctor I saw explained that carbon monoxide from Harper's furnace may be the cause of some of the unexplained things I saw around the house. Apparently, many of the ghosts in Victorian era fiction may have been inspired by the effects of exposure to carbon monoxide from faulty heaters. 
In the weeks that passed, Jessalyn began to take control of the family company. She's offered Wade a position on the board and tasked him with keeping an eye on the day-to-day -day operations of the company's labor force. I imagine he'll take her up on the offer once he's back from a trip to visit a certain former ghost hunter. Savannah called to tell me she's invited Wade to come out for a visit. I was a bit annoyed when I found out what Savannah hadn't told me about this case, but I have to admit I'm really hoping things work out for those two. Colton and Jessalyn seem like they're on the road to patching up their friendship. They both seemed mutually relieved to dissolve the engagement. Colton has a lot to iron out with his parents and his relationship with Lexi, but he seems determined to do things on his own terms. Harper disappeared shortly after the fire. After an exhaustive search, Wade and Jessalyn tracked Harper down and convinced her to rejoin the family. Years of Clara's manipulation left her a bit suspicious of the offer at first, but she finally agreed, provided she could completely raise Thornton Hall, and in its place build a public park dedicated to the memory of the lives lost on Black Rock Island. Jessalyn loved the idea and considered it the first meaningful step toward building a company and a family that would have made Charlotte proud. If you ever find yourself visiting Black Rock Island, the creepiest thing you're likely to encounter is Harper enjoying a good book next to the tombstone that bears her name. And maybe those trees, but it's not their fault they look like that. As for me, I'm looking forward to good old non-haunted River Heights. Can't wait to see you. Love, Nancy. Nancy. Read you loud and clear, Zoe. As much as I hate to say this, we can't do this alone. I'm looping in Moira and Alec. Nancy, you on? Is he helping? You can't seriously trust him. One thing at a time. How many bombs do you think Ewan was able to make? I have intel that says his team was able to produce enough of the agent for four bombs. What's my next move? Smart Money says if we disarm one bomb, the others will go. No one touch anything until we found all four. Nancy, get in there and take Ewan out. I'm on it. Not say I blame him for adding a password. Hmm. Yet this is a surefire way to get Ewan's attention. Time to make sure Ewan can't escape. you do this? Because I can. You used my mom to lure me here so you could get some stupid formula. You're just figuring that out now, are you? We're going to stop you. Nancy, we need to shut down all of the remote bombs. The bombs scattered throughout the city are linked back to human servers. We need to take them offline in a specific order, okay? First, you need to gather all of the correct USB drives from the servers around the room. First, get the yellow drive from the camera server. Now find the green drive from the Forbes server. Next, find the orange drive from the McKenzie server. from the Douglas server. Now get the purple drive from the Murray server. Then you need to get the red drive from the Hay server. Here's the next step. Go to the main computer in the server area should see a lot of USB ports. Here's the next step. Some of the ports are going to be linked. Look at the board. Do you see any lines connecting them? Yes. Think of 
those as groups. You'll place all of the drives onto the board, but there can be no repeating color in any group, column, or row. You're going to need to move faster! Placement important? Extremely! The blocks must be removed in the following sequence. Small, small, medium, large. Consecutive blocks in a sequence must be touching each other along an edge. You have to press them in. Hurry! I'm losing you. You're on your own in there, but you can do this. Too close. I defused the bomb. You did good. I'm off to help Alex find his sister. P.S. Bridget says, Oh, hello, my dear. I'll miss her. She was fun. Dear Mom, my trip to Scotland was eventful, to say the least. I'm not entirely sure I should have come, but in some ways, things worked out better than expected. The colony operation has been stopped again. Zoe told me that all information related to the colony formula has been destroyed for good. Ewan is gone. He was taken into custody and I can honestly say I have no more information. It seems like he was just a guy who felt small, who was tricked into doing the bidding of strangers who made him feel important. He never had the tools he needed. That's why he had to lure me in. I'll give him this. He knew how to get my attention. Revenant is still out there, but for now, they're on the run. I don't think that's my fight anyway, at least not for a while. I think Zoe will be able to manage without me. Speaking of, last I heard, Zoe was working with Alec to track down his sister. 
With those two working together, it's only a matter of time before she's brought home safely. It seems that's just the next step in Zoe's mission to expose and bring down Revenant. She has a huge task in front of her, but from what I've seen of Zoe's work, Revenant's got plenty to worry about. Alex's brush with Revenant has pushed him to set aside his work as a skip tracer. In the course of tracking down his sister, he made some connections with Cathedral, and not surprisingly, the rest of that is classified. Moira seemed happy to see me, and to her credit, I really believe she wants to make up for her betrayal of your trust. It's strange. I expected to be angry with Moira, but I'm not. I know her motivations were good, even though her actions weren't. And I see how much she misses you. I think I should keep in touch with her. I think that's what you would do. And I guess the last part of the trip is you. I found the letter you wrote all those years ago. I don't know what else to say. I think I was so desperate to solve the mystery of your accident that I forgot I already knew what mattered. I knew who you were. I've known that my whole life. I see you when I look in the mirror and at dad and at everything you loved and I hear your song whenever the world is quiet enough. I'm headed home to see dad and everyone else. I'll write you again and I will find the rest of those letters even if it takes a lifetime. Love, Nancy. Am I gonna regret pulling this lever? Well, here goes. Want to hear a funny story? Whatever you're upset about, we can talk it through. Fine, I'll skip to the punchline. This is not a joke. We could die down here. You'll be fine. But, worst case scenario, if you die down there or something... That's not a remote possibility. Oh, hi, Sonny. Hi, Kiri. When you die down there, it'll be as much his fault as mine. There are other ways to get what you want. I played you from word one. You think you can psychoanalyze me? I just want you to think through what you're doing. No, you want me to feel differently. But feelings don't steer this ship, honey. What does? Making you pay for your betrayal. You won't get away with this. The cave was dangerous? I thought it was part of the show. See, that's what I'm going to say. And it's gonna work out perfectly for me. <sighs> We're stuck, aren't we? I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Let me guess, those lights were the good news. Yeah. What's next? Any great ideas to get us out of this cave? It's, uh, down there. I'm not falling for that. Oh, okay. Push! Ah! You pushed me in! I'm just sort of living in the moment. I'll be honest, this part was a surprise. Why did you bring us all here? Are you sure you wouldn't rather focus on the rafting? What? Aim for the lightning bolt-looking thing. Avoid the thing that looks like a uh, giant fang. Pass under the Minotaur's hands. No, wait. Horns. Pass under the Minotaur's horns. Turn right. Pass under a group of stalactites, not the fang kind. There's nothing here. There's nothing here, Jin! Sonny, calm down. I'm sorry, Nancy. I'm sorry I wrecked your life. Let your friend get hurt. Hey, you guys okay? Send help! Send what? Help! Say that louder. You gotta be kidding me. Help! Oh, hang on, I just... Uh, God, I can't... <sighs> Oh, 
Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. That was fun. Oh, w were you saying help? Oh, what's this? What is it? Do you see something down in the water? Not sure what. Well, it doesn't matter. It's too deep. No way we can get down there. That's it! What? This is my river. I can't swim. I sink. Like a gorilla. Wait, Patrick! Uh, Sonny? How long has he been down there? I'm going in if he's not up soon. How many more people get hurt for this mission? I'm such an idiot. Maybe it's time to let go of your grandfather's stories. But he told me that him and me were special. That I wasn't just some kid. I was one of the Anunnaki. That's what I made myself believe. What about now? I'm not stupid. I never said you were. Is it okay that I wanted it to be true? Yes. Those stories he told me, that's where Sonny was born. That is not swimming. Is he walking? <coughs> I'm fine! Is there a plan for getting me back up? Never mind. Stairs. Guys, you gotta come check this out! Sorry I doubted you, Grandpa Jin. This is what Jin sent you to find? What is it? Well, Nancy, this is why I brought you along. Here's the final piece of the relic. Be careful. I think we only get one shot. Looks like I need to assemble all of the pieces first. If I use Jin's comic and the notebook, I should be able to spin the rings to the correct alignment and unlock all of the pins. does that mean? There's always a piece of truth in his stories. It almost makes me not want to know where the story ends and the truth begins. Then why ask? It's in my nature, like it's in yours to believe. I don't understand any of this. Nancy! Bess, is that you? Guess what I'm doing, Nancy. What? Saving the day, that's what. Listen, I know you want to escape right away, but I've never saved the day. That's fine, you've earned it. I just want to enjoy it for a second. Okay, here's the rope. Dear Ned, I'm not allowed to tell you what happened at Pacific Run until the episode airs. So bye, <laughs> love Nancy. Okay, just kidding. You are now dating a reality show winner. Go Team Tui! After George was injured, Bess stepped up and did her best to help us take home the trophy. Once the real production crew arrived, Bess, George, and I worked with the show's editor and finally found the evidence of who cut the rope bridge. After a quick call to her agent, Kiri confessed. Sadly, it won't be the last we hear from her. Her newest show, Detained Diva, The Kiri Redemption, is set to air this fall. After putting his superior sinking skills to work, Patrick has decided to conquer his greatest fear. I hope for Lena's sake he doesn't get caught up in a rip current. He might just kick back and see where it takes him. Sunny sent Lena a few of Jin's books as a thank you for her help. For her, an unsolvable code might just be the greatest gift there is. Jamila is coordinating with museums in New Zealand to study the artifact we found. Sunny, I think, is more interested in following where it leads. I don't know if Sunny believes everything Spide teaches. 
but after his time in New Zealand, I do know he believes in Jin. He was searching for a reason to follow Jin's lead. I'm guessing he found it, since his parting advice to me was, I'm running away now. Please don't tell anyone which way I went. Winning the contest was just what Bess needed. She's back to being the best we all know, and making friends right and left. George was soon well enough to move around a bit and got to join us on an exciting tour of New Zealand. Although she had a tough time keeping her eyes open, guess how many counting sheep jokes Bess made? I don't actually know. I fell asleep trying to keep track. That's my story of being on reality TV. After talking to some former contestants, I guess our experience was pretty much exactly how it goes every time. Can't wait to see you. Love, Nancy.